need. I'm going to see Greg Smallman, great Australian guitar maker. It's very strange, after 12 years I've kept on planning to come up and see him and I've never been yet, so I've seen photographs of the place. And this is quite a rough road in bits and I've been told about that. He's got this wonderful guitar which I saw back in April when we met in Sydney and uh, he just wanted to hang on to it for a bit to check a few things so that's of course the main reason I'm coming up now but equally exciting is actually seeing this part of the country which I've also never been to quite apart from seeing Greg Is this one of the ones I tried in April in yes. Sydney? Yes. Is it the one I preferred then? I shouldn't ask you that. <laughs> we always get it wrong. Yes, it is. Yeah. It is. Well, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, without trying my old one, it seems to have that same clear magic y thing I always used to say. Just for now, before I'll have a proper look, I'll, I'll show you with mine, which has settled down a bit. I mean, this is what, three, four years old. But the overall, see, this has always had that lovely silky thing. There's so many lovely high harmonics shimmering in there, a little bit Australian because I identify it with the shimmer of like gum tree leaves, you know. And it always comes out in little chords like guitar has been due for a long time for a, a re-evaluation of the way it's made. It's not like a violin or a cello which was made and designed hundreds of years ago and is perfect. It just does what it's supposed to do. Even if it's not a Stradivarius, it still sounds and works properly. The guitar doesn't as a musical instrument. God. There they all are. So which is the latest thing you're doing with the edge that you were saying, you know, the one... Uh, what, and is that an un, sort of unfinished grid? <laughs> raw, raw lattice. Raw yeah. lattice. I'm very inquisitive as to how things really work. Can you move that like the top works or did yes, you have exactly to be on the, the top? Yes, exactly the same. So i break it so you do it. And I started to get very interested in the way the top of the guitar works because that's crucial to the playing. It's almost like touching your own skin or someone else's skin. Right. And this way we're getting no movement there. Right. And locked there, there and there. Right. Um, that's a traditional soundboard. Right. It uses a system of strutting called fan struts. The thickness of the top and the size of the struts is the most important thing. But you'd still rather have the old lightwood that you were trying oh, to get? Yes. Or yes. Like this particular sort of soundboard that I make. Right. Um, the middle is much stiffer. Right. The edges are much more flexible. Right. And the whole thing is much, much lighter. Yeah. I get a lot more sustain from this soundboard. Do you know, I've never seen that either. That's incredible. I had no idea it was like that. I've been playing. <laughs> that is. The great, interesting, wonderful thing about Greg Swarman and his approach is he starts off from admiring the traditional, not knocking it, but admiring it, wanting to know is it possible to improve it in some way, and that he quite clearly has for me, and he's basically made the guitar a more musical instrument.
I'm very good on my own. I don't like traveling to sea places, but I, I like, or certainly did like, the traveling I did on tour, you know. And, but I'm, I'm a sociable person.